Good morning guys, welcome back to my vlog. It is 10.06 right now. I've been up since 7.30. I've been, um, I was gonna make the cookies and I started making the cookies. Um, I already mixed all the dry ingredients together while David was sleeping because I was waiting for him to wake up and he just woke up right now because I didn't want to mix um, the other stuff because I need the, the hand mixer um, and that makes noise so I didn't want to wake David up but also, I was waiting for the butter to soften and I think I took it out too late because of the cold weather It's like taking longer to soften. So What I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna go to the store with my mom after I get David ready because she has last-minute Christmas shopping So I'm gonna go with her because she doesn't like going alone. So I'm gonna go with her um, I'm just gonna feed David get him ready and then we're gonna head out and then when I come back Hopefully the butter is softened and then we can make the cookies Okay, I'm back. It's 12.44 now. Just got back from the store with my mom. But like I told you, I, we got some last minute guests who we went to Target. Um, so let's check the butter. It still doesn't even feel that like softened. <laughs> but um, we're just gonna roll with it. Not that bad. Well, we're gonna continue with the cookies. But like I was telling you guys, um, before David woke up, I was um, mixing the dry ingredients, so I'm going to go show you guys a, a clip of that. Baking. I'm actually gonna preheat the oven though because I had to turn it off earlier since I went to Target with my mom. I just got some last minute gifts. I got like a gift card. Um, remember I told you guys that I had to get the gift cards? So I got one of the gift cards. I still need one because I want to get one from Home Goods, but they don't sell them in normal stores, like in department stores. So I have to go to like the actual uh, Home Goods. So we'll see when I do that. So now it says that I need one cup of butter by the way the baby is sleeping and i left it with my mom for a while so while i finish this let's see so let's see how much we have to preheat the oven to 375. so let me go ahead and do that okay so i have all the dry ingredients set up to the side and now i'm gonna take the butter and the sugar This one, this are each half a cup, right? Yeah, okay. So, take that. That's one cup, okay. So we can do another half a cup. I think this is, this is not white sugar, this is granulated sugar, and I don't know if that's the same thing, guys. I don't honestly know. Throw that in there. That's a lot of sugar, but these are sugar cookies, so you know. It makes sense. So now let's mix this up. It says until creamed. So I read online that it's supposed to be like seven minutes till they're creamed, so I am gonna do it for seven minutes. But they get stuck on the whisks or whatever these are called. I mixed this with the hand mixer for about five minutes and it says that, that it's supposed to be mixed until creamed. I'm no baker, but I don't know if this is good enough or if I'm supposed to keep going. I'm gonna go at it for one more minute and see what happens. So now I'm going to beat in an egg and the vanilla extract. So how much? You need one egg. 
and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I read online that um, it tastes better if you add two teaspoons of vanilla extract for more flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one, two. together the butter and the sugar until smooth did that beaten an egg did that and vanilla did that gradually blend the dry ingredients roll rounded teaspoons teaspoons of doughs into balls and place on ungreased cookie sheet okay <laughs> wondered why people wanted a stand mixer like those people who like don't work in restaurants or like bakeries I always wonder what's the point of a stand mixer when you can just do a hand mixer but now that I'm making this I see why a stand mixer would be a lot easier <laughs> so now I understand I'm gonna pause the video because I feel like my SD card is gonna get full and then I'll show you guys when I start rolling them out so this is what it looks like um, I already finished it so I'm gonna go ahead and roll it off on the count roll it on the counter I already sprinkled it with flour I'm gonna roll it out I also got this um, rolling pin it's supposed to like you has different like sizes for how thick you want to roll it out so I think this will really help with the shaping we'll see so far um, it's turning out good let me go ahead and oh, let me open this there we go I'm trying to do this as fast as I can like I told you guys my baby is gonna wake up soon so let's see let me go ahead and put the rest of them away I'll be using those today So you just unscrew it and then you screw these so let's see how this goes just made a rookie mistake I forgot to put flour on the rolling pin I just pulled them out of the oven this is what they look like i'm letting them cool down now we'll see what they turn out like letting them cool down now i made 15 so I have 12 here and then there's three the first three that i made over there and i still have more dough so i might make more later on if they're good but i'm not gonna cool down then i'm gonna decorate them
you guys. This thing is ugly. Okay, let me show you guys these decorated cookies. I think I'm gonna leave them undecorated. Look at this. This snowman looks scary. That gingerbread looks like a ghost. And the tree looks good because it's simple. But these terrible actually really really late and i decorated these cookies all late i put all the rest of the cookies inside this bag the taste is good decorations eh. you know what that's on me for waiting last minute to get decorations and there wasn't any decorations left to buy so we did we worked with what we had um and that wasn't much it was just this kit that was at target and that was all that there was and then i got um vanilla frosting and uh yeah but let's eat one of these things they're just really sugary actually i'm not even going to eat one to be honest because this is going to be a sugar overload i ate the plain ones but i feel like this is like a sugar coma just waiting to happen but anyways guys that's it for today's vlog and i will see you guys tomorrow for another day of vlogmas